Morning shadows, day four of the build. Stripping the uh, the donor bike down. Uh, I've got the back wheel out. Got some of the the um, got the engine out. It's over there. Um, stripped down, ready to have a look at. Got the side panels off. Rear wheel out. Trying to get the swing arm out, but that is frozen. So we've got a method of how to do that. I'll do that in a bit. But the first job is to get that front end out and put it onto this one. So let's get on with it. First part is just to get the front wheel out. And that's just a simple matter of undoing those two bolts there on both sides and the wheel will drop out obviously we'll have to unhook the uh, the brake cable on the side as well so I've undone one side of the uh, fork the wheel off the fork and I have undone the brake cable down there now a bit of a top tip always um, where you can if you've got sort of loose nuts and bolts knocking around always put them back where you got them from so when you're putting everything together you'll uh, not lose it and you'll know which bit it goes to so let's just undo the other side and then the wheel should just drop out Lifting the bike up. And the wheel is out. Next part is dropping the forks off. So first of all, bolts for the handlebars. And well, we'll leave the handlebars on, and then we've got the two large bolts at the top, and then we've got the clamps underneath. What size those are to figure that out, and the forks should just drop out. So, getting the verniers on it, it tells me that those are one and a half inch. So, that's not going to have a socket big enough for that, but. Uh, maybe you've got an adjustable spanner that could do that. Luckily, one of these is finger tight. Probably tighten up. But uh, the other side isn't. So let's go and see if we can find a tool to move that. Searching through the toolbox, I managed to find this. And that's done a good job of um, shifting this. So that's the nuts undone. Next, move on to those clamp bolts and also get rid of that ugly bracket as well. So, on the clamp side of things, it's a couple of 9 16th bolts and nuts. They're all done, and I've give the um, surfaces a good dosing of penetrating oil because it's going to be a bit of a struggle to get these uh, rusted in forks out another top tip when you're taking nuts and bolts out if you can't put them back where you have them put the nuts and bolts together 
so you're not going to lose the um, the washers and the nut which tie the bolt together right so while I wait for the penetrating oil to do its job I'm going to get all the bits and pieces I need for the special brew I need to put together to try and free the um, swing arm spindle which is one and truly rusted in so the forks are, are well and truly stuck on a little uh, donor starfire so I'm gonna make up a bit of a bit of a special brew which was suggested by some of the, uh, the guys on the um, B25 Facebook group and also uh, one of my mates uh, Andy Matthews who um, does the uh, Andy Man Cave uh, which is a YouTube channel you might want to check out looks at old um, sort of uh, 70s and 80s two-stroke bikes he rebuilds them so the first ingredient acetone which I've um, borrowed from the uh, Mrs um, makeup drawer uh, this is nail gel remover but it's got acetone in so it's like a 50-50 mix Let me shove that in first that'll be enough and then the other ingredient is automatic transmission fluid so like I say this is a 50-50 mix mix them together then apply it to any of the um, surfaces that are um, stuck together just put that in there it's about right a bit more now this will get a bit messy then I just apply it to the contact surfaces wait a bit and see if it's fixed so Put the um, magic formula onto the um, onto the yolks and onto the uh, forks. Left it about an hour and then um, just undone the bolts. Took the um, handlebars off and do, did the um, pinch bolt as well. And then uh, knocked that off. That came off easy enough. And then give the uh, forks a little bit of a twist and um, they're off too. Obviously these need quite a lot of refurb. Uh, I don't really want to transfer them onto the other bike for now. But um, the um, steering head bearings are all ovaled so we need to order a set of races for those. And I think that's it for today while we order some parts. See you in the next video. Also using the special brew on the swing arm spindle that's been well and truly stuck. After leaving it for a couple of hours and using a copper hammer to knock it the pin through it's slowly but surely making its way through just going to leave it to soak again for a couple of hours and just keep having a go at it well at least it's moving now so there's there's hope <laughs>